David Stewart Farm, Gettysburg, PA. In 1863, after the Battle of Gettysburg, the Confederate Army withdrew west along Fairfield Road. According to many accounts, for weeks after the battle, all homes and barns from Gettysburg to Fairfield were used as hospitals. This 100-acre farm was one of the largest hospitals for the wounded. Despite all the operations and suffering, spirits seemed to be positive. Activity on the farm ranged from EVPs, shadow figures, phantom footsteps, and sightings of a regiment in the fields. It's considered to be one of the hottest spots in Gettysburg for paranormal investigators. Nothing's gonna hurt you. See? What was that? That was from outside. That was, yeah, outside. This one makes noise. But nothing's gonna hurt you. Can you tell us your name? Noise coming in from outside. Yeah. How old are you? Do you regret not being able to help more people? Did you die here? I thought I just heard a yeah. I don't know if that I was... heard something too, but I, it's... I didn't hear anything from outside, so... Alright. Okay, so tag it for that one. Getting that rocking sensation over here. There it goes. Going off again. Everybody getting that? I got it. Place down. Don't walk up on it. Don't walk up on it. Marketing, marketing, marketing. There it goes Walk again. again. Mm -hmm. Shut up. Or is it because it's wet? Huh? There's so much moisture between the moisture and the, uh, the leaves as it's falling on the antenna. Is it breaking the bubble? No, I don't get anything to do it. How do I set the amp off here? In the back. Mate, HTC hey, just went off. Yeah, that's on now. And it's still going off. That's the union label. <laughs> it went off. Is anybody getting this? I just got the union label. You didn't ask him to film, so I'm not going to. You asked him, you wouldn't have to ask that. Is whomever is here? From the Union? If it is, can you touch the U.S. belt buckle again? Okay. Alright, this strap here, bite down one. Now I have to start cutting. Okay. No, it hurts. Bear with me.
All right. Come on, private. Here, take, yes, take sir. that. Take the arm, get it down, put it in the pile with the rest of them. I just heard a voice in that a few moments ago. Here's something. All right. All I have is on here. I don't have an audio yeah. on. No, my battery died. Okay. So, put that. Oh, Doc. You got to help me. What do you got? It, it got me. It got me. Oh, oh that hurts. Let me see, let me see. How bad is it, Doc? Be truthful with you. I don't know if there's anything I can do for you. Doc, you gotta fix me. I gotta get home. All right, the only thing I'm gonna do right now. Hey! Give me more rags, give me some help up here. so cold. Stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. Alright. Once you bite the other strap, you hold on to that. Okay, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. You gotta let me do it. It's too deep. You're losing a lot of blood. Somebody get up here now! Come on, help me out here. Private! Private! Medic, get up here! I hate this war. In my experience, that's usually a presence. Anything, uh, Frank, where's your meters? And so he's dead. <laughs> I'm done being dead now. <laughs> End scene. Feel right on the edge of the bit, Frank. Like towards that corner. Over here? Over here. Over here. Over there. Yeah, right there. Holy cow. Yeah. yeah. This thing went. That. I don't when, know if that meant when, anything. Hmm? When I had my hand, you actually saw something I actually come up with my hand. I didn't see it go to your hand. It was like I said, I got the image in my head. You're not, the, you're not that far off. Hmm? You're not that far off. Okay. That, uh, that's the best way I can explain it. It wasn't right. even like a hand. It was like the outline of one. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't see like all the fingers, but that's kind of what... You see the, you see the type of grip that was starting to... Almost like... It, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what I just had. And, and I have no experience with Masons. I mean, I've read a little bit about it and... Seen some of the conspiracy stuff, but that's about it. That's a good thought, though. Because many of the, many of the men yeah. that was in there. No, that's the that's the machine. Yeah. That's actually really kind of cool. Phase one, phase two. And I guess the first there. Yeah, that's kind of, that's really kinda of cool. Mm -hmm. Hold on a second. Let me do that there for a second. Scalar. Scalar. Doc, you gotta save my leg. Oh. Let's see. Ah. 
Oh, back, it ain't that bad, Man. right? You have a clean shot, but it looks like the oh. looks like it looks like you hit the oh, bone. The bone, the bone. I'm gonna have to take that down below your knees. Doc, come on. Save Medic! It. Medic! Doc, just save it! Alright. Best thing I can do. Is set and get some whiskey. Easy, easy, <laughs> easy. Easy. Doc, if you're gonna take my leg, at least let me have the whiskey. One more, Doc. One, one more. One more. One more. It's gonna be deep. That's deep. Take the bullet out and save the leg. I mean, look, hold still, hold still. It hurts, Doc. All right, let's see if we can get. <sighs> Boom. What? We mean there's no rags. All right, hold still. Bite down this. Hold, hold still. I'm gonna try to get it out. I'm gonna try to get it out. Now hold still. He just grazed the bone. That means you saved my leg, right? Now I gotta sew it, sew it shut. This is gonna hurt. Ready? Yeah. Oh my god, how many times are gonna do that? Hold still. <sighs> Give me any kind of boards or anything you got your hands on. I need everything up here right now. We need to mobilize this. Everything down below his knees. This man can't walk very far. Bye. 
So this is the uh, scalar generator, okay? And what this does is it produces scalar energy. It's neither positive nor negative, okay? What that does is it thins the veil and gives more oomph for an entity to come across, make itself known, you know, do all the, uh, the crazy things we ask them to do, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these, set them up on the stands, and just kind of fill the room with this energy. Now, when you're using this, none of the meters are gonna work right. They're gonna pick this up and it'll be bouncing all over the place. Um, it's very hard to do EVPs while this is on. So we'll run it for about 10, 15 minutes in a room, fill the room with energy, and then uh, go in and do what we need to do. Yeah? Yeah, I can come over here and stand over here. You can feel the energy. See? Oh, wow. You can close to it. It's weird. It's like a curtain of static. Yeah. Yeah. But it my, but yeah, but my hair didn't stick up. That's kind of cool. It's, <laughs> again, it's, it's neither positive nor negative. It's it's just the. We'll set this guy over here. Out of the field. The there. static camera I have set up straight on this bed yeah. over here. Okay. So I'll put that up the field. Are you not supposed to touch them? I like the shocks. Okay. Yeah, I can look at that. Alright, <laughs> so you're gonna need a victim. Need a victim? Yeah, I'm gonna use uh um so I have to bring them in to me. I'll be over here. Um, I'll have like sad instruments, and then basically, uh, let me know what your what the what it is. If it's gonna be, able, if you gonna do the leg first or arm, then we'll go in, go into that, and I'm gonna do like the, the amputation and the and the sewing procedure, and I'll stop, and then um, we'll see what comes up, and then then we'll do the, the second one with the the, the gut one, the gut one, yeah. Is there anybody else here with you? Okay, ask him to touch your hand. Could you touch my hand? It's real flaky. He's coming back. He's back and forth. It's not there. You want the canteen? Yeah, I just want to see. Try it for a minute. I can't. Don't throw that to me. Yeah, I'll turn my light on and throw it. Oh, my God. I'm a terrible. Did you say, oh, my God? Yes, I did, Bob. Got it? I said, oh, my God. <clears throat> Okay, I got a canteen. She's not there. There's nothing. No? You don't have to be afraid, we're just in here for shelter. Peace. We know it's not our barn. Is there something better than being outside? Is there something really dark in the back corner be behind? You rich and Megan? That's where they say they see the shadows a lot. What? Well, on the camera, I got something really dark back there, but I got a really lousy angle on it. I just want to know if there's a dark object back there. You want me to shine a light back there? Sure. Go ahead. Nope. Keep going back. Okay. I see. It just keeps going farther and farther back. Bobby, all right? 
I think it's just the fact that it keeps going farther and farther back, so I'm just seeing where the light isn't shining. Right behind me, Bob was saying, is where they see a shadow a lot. I was watching, though, with these louvered windows mm -hmm. and the light that it casts from outside. Okay. I can see where shadows would be easy to mistake. Somebody walking by whether it's inside or out. You stand in the spot and you start to feel dizzy. Okay, so I stepped out and I had Angel come in and, and you know, she did the same thing. And then she said, it's, it's making her back hurt here. So she stepped out, I stepped back in and it was like, just felt like something just grabbed right onto my spine and, and started pulling me. So it's actually increased since before we all started with the scenario. Oh, that wasn't there before. No. No. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, that's a whole new because we were all over here. Mm-hmm. Okay, hey, I'm going back in. Okay. I turned the camera on it. Okay. So we got a bunch of stuff around the room that will help us detect if you're here. Nothing's going to hurt you. See? What was that? That was from outside. That was, yeah, outside. This one makes noise. But nothing's going to hurt you. Can you tell us your name? There's a lot of noise coming in from outside. Yeah. How old are you? Smell that incense? Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> just checking. Were you a doctor? Do you regret not being able? 